Hey guys, it's Troy here. And you know, no fancy lighting here. Um, I'm just traveling. No fancy introduction. I'm just traveling. And I didn't drag along all my video production equipment. I'm actually uh, just sitting here in a hotel uh, with my iPad and uh, a couple of pens. So um, I'm out on business for a couple of days and every once in a great while I make this trek and do some meetings at our corporate headquarters in this area. And um, so I was asked to come down and, and teach a class. So I came up with a curriculum, developed it. And uh, so I'm down here um, in Charlotte, North Carolina on business. And um, so I'm in a pretty nice hotel, actually on the 25th floor. And the lighting in here is horrible. I don't remember it being uh, this horribly lit in this room, but you know, it is late in the afternoon and you know, here I am. I've got as many lights turned on as I can. So anyway, <clears throat> and pardon me again, you know, the last video I talked about how I was actually getting over uh, the end stage of a cold and got better for, you know, a while. And then along my, my son comes up with a runny nose. Great. So we're going through the whole cold thing, which is taking a lot of energy out of me and not feeling tremendously well, but Hey, I'm here. I'm actually, uh, I made the trip and, uh, I've been working today. So here I is. Uh, so I won't have any fancy edits. I don't have any pictures to show you, overlays, graphics, or anything like that, okay? Uh, but I am uh, bringing with me, as always, my trusty pen pouch. This is a nothing special um, pen pouch. I actually picked this one up uh, from Newton Pens. Uh, Newton Pens does their scholarship uh, program where they auction off stuff. And this happens to be one of the things I picked up fairly cheap. Uh, it's just a pen pouch, a zippered pen pouch. And... Uh, now, I always uh, throw some pens in it, and whether I'm, it depends on what I throw in it, depends on where I'm going and for what purpose. For instance, um, we just recently, uh, as a family, uh, went on a family vacation down to Miami, Florida, and then um, out to a cruise to the Bahamas, and uh, that was just before Christmas. I took the same pen pouch, and of course, I didn't have anything you know, really expensive, anything uh, that I was going to be worried about, uh, losing kind of thing, that if it got broken or stolen or lost, um, I wouldn't feel so horribly bad about them. Uh, this case, um, this is 100% in my control in in my custody. So I didn't fly, I drove, so it was with me. And uh, in my laptop bag the whole time, it was with me. Here in the hotel, here it is with me. So um, I'm not so worried about uh, that kind of thing. Uh, but let me show you some of the pens that I would take on a trip like this. And uh, I, I brought them just for variety's sake. And there is a picture of this on my Instagram. You can look at Troy LaPlante Sr. Uh, SR uh, at the end, and you can see some of the pictures. And uh, I'll share with you uh, one of the comments about it. But um, I only brought four uh, for me personally and just for a sake of variety and for show and tell perhaps. Uh, but you know, I brought the Pen Farina. I did this in my last video real quick since it was pen mail. So that's one that I chose to bring along with me. I brought in a, a, a Delta. Uh, this uh, particular Delta I believe came out in 1997. It is the uh, Israel Nation of Israel 50th Anniversary Edition pen. And somebody actually commented when I saw this picture on Instagram uh, if I was worried about um, this being a little risky to maybe carry a Delta. And well, in terms of loss, I just explained why I'm not so worried about loss. I've actually have lost a pen before, actually on a trip to these same offices in this same town at a different hotel and uh, going through the parking lot. Um, apparently a uh, pouch on my, uh, my rolling duffel bag, uh, one of those zippered pockets was open and out fell uh, some pens. And I had another pen pouch with me that had the more expensive stuff, but some still mighty expensive stuff that was in that pouch. And I actually had it returned to me by hotel security because I went by the desk. I said, hey, if anybody turns it in, I'm missing this long, slender, um, black uh, pen pouch in. Here's what's in it. And so within a couple of hours, somebody was knocking at my hotel room door. It was hotel security and handed me my pen set because it was like exactly what I told them it was. So I was like, good, I got that back. Um, so... Yeah, um, I wasn't so worried about this, and and because of that last 
mishap that I had, made sure uh, that this is going to stay well within you know my arm's reach. So a uh, a delta. And the other thing they asked, uh, uh, you know, considering some old deltas apparently have some celluloid that would crack or break, and I believe this is an acrylic and not a celluloid, and uh, I do believe. So I'm not quite as worried about that part. This one right here is a Raleigh pen maker, uh, Little Pen Designs. You know, I put graphics up, but like I said, I don't have video editing software. I'm just sitting here in my hotel room with my iPad. But uh, this is uh, his Vista model and it is in the purple giraffe pattern. I do plan on doing a, a full video on that as well. And over here, uh, Navalar Na uh, Narwhal pen. Um, and you can see here, it is their year of the uh, tiger. Um, and uh, so that one uh, here, the Nautilus, and it's a nice pretty orange. And that um, the acrylic was done by my friends over at Starry Night Resins. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I picked it. So it was just uh, those four. And I always carry some pens for giveaway. And, you know, I'm running low on um, inexpensive giveaway pens. And these are uh, two of the last ones, a Jinhao 321 and a Jinhao 599, both inked up and ready to go in case I run across somebody who has an interest. Uh, I almost always have... Uh, a pen ready to go in my pocket, in, uh, in this case, in my pen pouch. So that's it. Here I am, like I said, in my hotel room, uh, settling down for the late afternoon and evening. Um, and uh, rather than partake of festivities tonight and dinner, uh, folks, I'll be honest with you, I'm tired only because of the energy drain that comes along with fighting off a head cold. Uh, but um, other than that, um, you know, I've got some reading to get done. Wanted to do this video, been meaning to. Got some other videos I've been meaning to do. But uh, one of the things that's been keeping us busy um, since you're here at seven minutes into the video, uh, Barney the Beagle. We adopted um, a beagle finally. And uh, you can see some of those pictures on my Instagram, Troy LaPlante Sr. And uh, you can see Barney, uh, an older beagle that uh, uh, is actually fitting in very well with our family. He's uh, been a pretty good dog so far. All right, well, that's about it. I'm going to cut off the video, and like I said, can't fancy edit it, but here I am. All right, y'all, um, I'll be back uh, hopefully in sometime soon, and I'll be trying to uh, actually get some more videos accomplished because that's one of the things that this year that I really would uh, like to do is go back to stepping up the, the video production. Not necessarily pen acquisition, but maybe... Uh, pen discussion. Alrighty. Thank y'all. Appreciate you. Supply. Uh, uh, appreciate y'all watching and please subscribe. Pass along uh, the information about the channel. And uh, other than that, keep in touch. Ciao.